Welcome to Boxsite Published. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate your GPA, CGPA. If you are new here, kindly subscribe, share the link, and turn on the post notification. Not forgetting to leave your comment behind. Unlike high school, here at high levels of learning, assessment is cumulative. Therefore, this subjects us to new grading system. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the way you'll be grading. Now, we're going to call a GPA. What is a GPA? A GPA is the grade point average. This is your assessment at the end of a semester. Now, when they combine more than one semester's performance, that's when they come up with a CGPA, which is the cumulative grade point average. For you to be able to calculate these things, you should be able to, you should be having two things. One, CU. What is a CU? Then secondly, you should be able to be knowing your grade point. A grade point comes from the grading. Now, a CU is the graded unit. And you should, at this time, you should be able to know that a course has course units. And these course units, they are the so-called subjects at high school. And every course unit has what we call a CU, a graded unit, corresponding to the conduct hours you spend with the lecturer. So a CU, I can refer a CU to a measure uh, a measure of the weight to of a course unit in the fulfillment of your course. The heavier you the course unit, the more the credit units. And the more the credit units, the more the impact of that course unit is going to sub, uh, to affect your course, your CGP or your GPA. So right now I'm going to show you what it means by grade point and after the grade points shall be able to see the CUs and calculate the CGPA. Let's look. So this is this is our grading scale. We have the max, we have the letter grades and the grade points. And you realize that you are N I get to 100 is A plus and it's matching to five. Like that, like that, like that. Here at high school, at, at university, you realize that a 0.1 has a great impact to your performance. And once you hit a 50 to 54.9, it's a D, and it corresponds to 2.0. And you can go down, but of course, once you hit a, a less than 50, that is a pass. You have just passed, and you are subjected to a retake. Because once you have a below 50, that is a retake. So these are the great points, and we shall be able to use these great points to calculate your GPA. Let's look at course units. Given in a semester, you have done these course units. You have done this course unit, you have gotten a seventh. The red point you want to check, it is seventh is a 4.0. And I told you that we shall be using the concept of a graded unit. And a graded unit, then I say this course unit has this. And you have more units because with your max, your grade points, and the series. Now, how do you credit the GPA? GPA. For you to be able to come up with your GPA, you should be able to multiply the grade point. So we shall have the grade point times the CU, the summations over the summation of your CUs. For example, in this given case where I have four course units, it means I'll have the summation of grade points times CUs. So it will be a four times three plus. 5 times 2 plus 3.5 times 2 plus 5 times 4 over the total CUs. You realize the total CUs, this is 5, 8, 12. And uh, may I calculate this? You should be able to come up with your GPA. So when you complete this, be able to come up with this as your answer, and this will be corresponding to your GPA. And the GPA is just your assessment for a single semester. Yes, now here comes your semester two. I told you that at the semester level we have a GPA, but now when you start combining semester, that's when you come up with the CGP, which is the cumulative. Now, here comes my semester two, and you have these course units correspond, these are course, these are just course codes corresponding to, to your grade point corresponding to the CUs. Now, for you to be able to connect the GPA series, I say the GPA is the summation of grade point times CU over summation CU. 
Therefore, it will be 5.0 times 4 plus 4.5 times 3 plus 3.5 times 2 plus 5 times 4 over the summation of series, which is 13. This gives us uh, 16.5 over 13. And this is pushing me to a 4.65 as your GPA of second semester. So now, the question is now how do I find the CGPA, the cumulative of these things? Now, what, how do you get the CGPA? CGPA is the cumulative. And for you to be able to come up with a CGPA, we shall have a 49 plus a 60.5 over 12 plus 13. Then, therefore, at the end of the academic year, 60.5 plus 49 divided by 25. At the end of the, at the, end of the academic year, you will be having a CGPA, CGPA of this. That's what I want to call the cumulative assessment. Now, after doing your CGPA, one thing you should be able to note is that uh, my CUs, total CUs are smaller because I'm using examples. A normal course is supposed to have a minimum of 15 CUs and a maximum of around 28 CUs. But you see that my CUs are small, small because I'm just using smaller, few course units. Now, after getting your CGPA, you need to know your class you will. Am I lying in the first class or second class? Let's look at these classes as we complete our video the classes of the degrees. I need to highlight here. Now, when you're getting the CGPA, some people will say this plus this divided by 2. Here we're not getting average. We are dealing with the cumulative assessment. Once you say this plus this divided by 2, you get a wrong CGPA. That's why I come back to the my former calculations. I combine this with this. I divide by the total CUs. That's why you can be able to get the CGPA. And once, now, imagine a student got, imagine a student got 4.08 plus 4.65 divided by 2. This student will get, will have gotten 3 point, sorry, 4.365, which is a wrong CGP. So to get the CGP, you must you come back to the total, to the total to the sum, total summations and you combine them like this, then so you come up with a CGP. Now, finally, let's look at the classes. This is now, after getting your CGP, you come to the class degrees. Now, from here to here, it is the first class. From here, from here to here, it is the second class upper. From here to here, it is the second class lower. From here to here, it is the pass degree. So it's the pass. We shall, we shall assume you have just passed you know, the resisting. So those people have been asking, first class I come out, so I think now you are satisfied. And make sure you graduate to the CDP because sometimes it may end up disappearing. So this is how we calculate these things. I hope this video has been helpful and make sure before you leave, subscribe. Share the link, turn on the post notification so that you may never miss any video. For those who have been following me in my mock tutorials, uh, this, place to, uh, this playlist has been closed. I'm going to open a new playlist for actually. Thank you, thank you so much for following.